Well, this changes everything, doesn't it? Creeping across this mountain range. Mmm. Looks good to me. I think the first thing we're going to do is purchase an old god obelisk. Only because that gives me a lovely, lovely little place here. Let's just um, move one from, say, London to Hatton. There we go. So we'll just put a little bit of pressure on this three city, which I see there's one here. Leon. Tut, 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 France. Forward settling. Arabia like that. How dare you. Uh, I'm also going to put in a theatre square because I think it's probably one of the best things I can do. Uh, there's a lovely campus spot there in a little bit. And then hopefully we'll pick up another city in this sort of spot. I'm also going to try and make peace with our friend Columbia who, yes, they like that as an idea. That's good. And actually these guys are the ones that took or traded, I haven't quite worked that out yet, from Ethiopia. So I wonder what they would sell these for. Oh, they don't prize them as much as Ethiopia did. That's interesting. So I could, in theory, sell things like nitre, some iron, for a book or two. Are they going to let me do this? Oh, you simple fools. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay, great. So apart from Birmingham, we now have great works everywhere, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in the space of four cities here. Actually, Plymouth might have some over there. Oh, no, Plymouth has only got the one. So about eight. That's cool. <coughs> well, this guy would have been handy. Ah, oh, moving over ocean tiles. Never mind, I will take the plus one site from all naval units. That's quite good for the exploration of the new world. I'm actually going to start putting Rainer together because I actually think Contractor would be really handy to put into, like, the new world cities. Things like that over there. I mean... Uh, let's just have a look. Uh, we'll put, put her in Hatton for now. But yeah, if I can just like plonk her down in the New World City and then just buy districts in with gold, that works really, really well. Here's a new city. Bristol has been founded with a five tile builder. Oh yeah, that's good. So what am I going to do over here? I think Birmingham is going to be my industrial hub. That much we made absolutely adamantly clear. So I'll put the aqueduct in there, but Bristol, I think, can just make do with getting itself a theatre square. Pingala is now in and we've just jumped to 100 science and 100 culture. We're pulling back now, 24 techs versus 33. But Australia are like, yeah, six techs ahead of the next person. They're doing so well and it's purely because they own so much territory here. Maybe we should make friends of Australia. They are definitely the, um, the, the leaders at the moment. And they should, they should like me, to be fair. So let's just see if we can get open borders going with them and go from there. For God's sake, they keep stealing Nan Nadal from me. Ethiopia, you jerks. Oh, that's so annoying. It's like 30 culture per turn worth for me. A huge deal. Scythe. Okay, we're actually going to try and make some proper friends with these people by sending them delegations before they have a chance to actually do... Oh, Void Singers as well. So these guys actually should like me. You'd, you'd hope. There we go. Tamiris. Happy, 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 happy. Economic Alliance. And I think actually Australia. They are at war with everyone, which is quite amusing. There we go. There's the delegation. We'll chuck, yeah, friendship towards them. And then I'm going to go Military Alliance because, I mean, quite frankly, they'd be quite good to have on side. Three allies now. That's good. As I say, we will go to war, but having Australia on side is no bad thing because France is a lot weaker than Australia. Oh, this would have been so good if we could have got a heroic era here. It's not to be, but we've got 1,200 faith, and I don't know whether or not to save it for cultists or to jump in on monumentality, because I could get Hicksunk Draconis, which gives me the extra population for the new cities, which I'm tempted to do, actually. Let's do it. I like a good Hicksunk Draconis, so that's what we're going to end up doing. You can see I'm just clearing a space for a nice industrial zone here. Uh, we're going to have, I think, a diplomatic quarter on this tile. That would be quite nice. But anyway, this is good. Birmingham, you know what you're doing. 920 gold. We're almost there. We can start chucking settlers out. I've got this brilliant uh, great person who's literally just like swimming around, having a laugh. We just found Auckland and Muscat. It's a shame that these ones have all been found by Australia before. Oh, and Australia's actually settling in the new world. God, we're going to have a proper competitor here. Australia are having a good game. Oh, yeah. I forgot the industrial zone, actually. Ah, yeah. I've got 20 turns worth of uh, culture bombs, haven't I? That's really funny. Anyway, Merchant Republic, 
Switch over to that, we're immediately going to put in Republican Legacy, always a good habit to get into. Builders, Settlers, Campus, that's all wonderful. What? But we now have one military policy slot. Press Gangs? Should we get Press Gangs in or should we get Veterancy? Veterancy, I think encampments and harbours are going to be definitely the thing to go for. 110 Science, I like to think we're beginning to definitely keep pace with people now. Georgia. Oh, Georgia's actually going into the New World as well. There's Tbilisi. They're on the other coast. Very nice to meet you. Yes, delegations are good. They're the Owls of Minerva, so they're not going to like me particularly. But that's okay. We don't mind that. Australia has got so many capitals as well. They're losing all their diplomatic power. So trading with them isn't a problem because they just lose it. It's quite handy, that. Here we go. Our first new settler on the continent. Tasty. Right, I've got to start thinking about where I'm actually going to put these cities. Lovely plus four. Yes, thank you very much. That's wonderful. Okay, that industrial zone should help me once I get things like astronomy going. I should be able to go to industrialization, really start putting out the old production. Oh, unfortunately, Leon, it got taken by Australia. Never mind, Theatre Square's on its way. There's the circumnavigation, an easy five points for me. I'm just checking out the loyalty of these cities. I don't think anyone's going to have a loyalty problem for a little while. Keep building up the great works. What's this? Bolognia? Who just took Bolognia? Oh, Boulevard, you jerk. Oh, I really like those guys. The Mayans? Let's see how they're doing science-wise. Hopefully pretty good. No, 77. Tamiris is actually doing much, much better. Got ourselves a new research ally and a new city here. Yes, I know there's no fresh water on it, but what I'm doing is I'm setting up another city here to do like one of these double aqueduct rushes. Should be really, really good. That's a good industrial zone in London. Hello. Oh yes, that's good. That is good. Right, what am I doing? What am I doing in the city? Workshop is through production. Shipyard is through production. It's all through production, really. Let's get a workshop going. I'm uh, not far off being able to put factories down. Ah, uh, Ethiopia wants to get rid of their books a bit more now. They're starting to abandon the pretense that they can compete with me culturally. Just keep going down and having a look to see if anybody's picked up anything. Nobody really has. A few relics, but relics I I just well, couldn't care about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have every great work in the game so far. Pretty nice. Ouch! I lost two population in my new world city. Just through one like not that bad hurricane. Oh. That's painful. We'll um we'll ignore that for now. Hatton! Right, it's Hatton. Amphitheatre, good. We need to just bring all the works into it now. So I know that Plymouth is not using its great work particularly. I need to start the naming scheme again, actually. Uh, Liverpool, Leeds, London. I think London's probably the furthest away. So Hatton has got a full complement now. It's not really going to do too much pressure. I'm not expecting anything to flip, but it all helps. Finally got humanism, so art museums need to go down rapidly. Enlightenment's also good because I can give myself rationalism which again is a really 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 good one. Sending all the trade routes to London at the moment. I've got a bit of capacity actually to be able to send out some decent routes, get ourselves a bit of gold pretend. Gold pretend's pretty good actually and we've got 127 diplomatic favour. I'm just going to keep them and see what the world vote does, see if we've got any options but I'm not expecting there to be, oh this Birmingham one is going to be really good. If I can just get the settler one, two, three, four. On top of that maze, I'll put uh, another aqueduct here and we can go for the double industrial zone. Just going to pick Bologna back up. That is a really important city-state for me. And I desperately need it to make sure that I'm getting the most great writers because Australia are picking up a lot of theatre squares at the moment. That's not a bad thing. I do not mind that at all because when I do take the cities over, there's going to be loads of places to put great works. But it doesn't mean it's not annoying. All right, I see a lot of Shinto around at the moment, so I'm going to say... Let's um, condemn that one. And then duplicates, I mean, again, doesn't really matter for me. None of these are particularly exciting, so we're going to go for turtles. See if those two get through. I'm not going to bother spending my diplomatic favour. Instead, I'm going to sell it. No citrus. Oh, no. Oh. That's really annoying. That was one of mine. All right, come on, Australia. You literally, it, it's like you've got a hole in your bucket with this stuff, so I don't mind giving it to you. Only 40 gold per turn? No! Oh, that's a terrible agreement, right? Who else is diplomatically going for a boulevard? Nah, I don't want to trade with them. Oh, there we go. That's a better deal. 85 gold per turn. Nice. 
almost doubles my gold per turn. I'm also just going to put in rationalism now. And poof, 132 science. That's not bad. Not bad, but Leeds and Liverpool need a bit more pop to make that worth it. There's Sheffield. All right, industrial zone. Uh, I just need to swap that tile out. And then we'll do the beautiful little, oh yeah, like one, and then all like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I like these little things. Ah, oh, forms an armada out of a military naval unit. That's quite handy, actually. And an artist. I think that's pretty much the game's first great artist, which is pretty damn good. Now, Hatton, I might just actually buy the art museum. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then drop uh, you straight over there. Wonderful. Okay, that'll put the pressure on. Oh, James Young. And we've got Margaret Cavendish. Nice. Okay, James Young, I'm just going to burn quickly just to give myself economics and flight boost. Oh, flight is a good boost. That's a really good boost. Uh, Sheffield's growing nicely over in that direction. That's lovely. Okay, Margaret Cavendish. I think we're just going to put you to London and pop the blazing world. How are we doing? I think we're almost at flight. We can go flight and then steam power, radio. I think we may treat ourselves to a couple of bombers. I might go for a little bit of war. I don't know yet. See how we feel. I'm playing this game very loosely. Very open as to which particular condition we go for. I like civil engineering. Seven different specialty districts. We must be close to that, surely. Hang on. Australia's building a tank. Oh, that's pretty, pretty techy. 39 techs versus my 34. Okay, my 34 is not too bad. I don't know how they've uh, got all the way to tanks. And we have only five more. I guess they're down in combustion. Just stuck along the bottom of the tree. Not got any boats. Maybe. Factories up and running in London. Let's get the coal power plant going. This is where England really starts to take off. Any powered buildings. I've got double coal here as well. And actually, I managed to culture bomb a couple of those. No wonder Australia was a little bit annoyed with me when I did that. But that's going to be at least eight coal per turn. Ten? I forget how much England gets. It's plus two more, isn't it? So, yeah, that would be ten per turn. Got another art museum up here. Oh, this is really good. In fact, actually, hang on. Can we get a new... Uh, indoctrination yet? No, I don't think we can. How long until the world flips? Six turns into the industrial era. Okay, maybe in a normal era, which is a bit annoying. Can we push that into being something a little better? Maybe. Here we go. Here's the coal. Coal power plant in London is done next turn, which means we're going to turn on the lights. Fingers crossed, I say. Uh, do we get... Cardiff and yeah we do so technically we are getting electricity from our harbors so maybe we won't even need to burn anything but still it'll be quite good yeah no I've actually got all the electricity I need uh, five coal per turn yes yeah, so we're gonna get ten per turn that is amazing here we go so form an armada out of this unit that sounds fun oh it's the most it's the world's first as well nice 72 strength that's actually quite handy I'm just gonna use this person to put promotion on it as well Lovely, and then I've actually got something that I can duplicate a luxury from. So, let's find something to duplicate. Okie dokie. So, next era. Civil engineering we'll have a look at in a second. But you can see that Australia is in a dark era. Oh, that's intriguing. That's intriguing. France is in a normal era. Uh, Ethiopia is in a dark era. Okay, so we've got some possibilities here. I'm going to... Do, 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 in a heartbeat of steam, I think. I think that's probably best, yep, because we've discovered everything and the other ones are rubbish. Uh, Scout, you just keep on going for now. Right, some new policy cards. I've got a new build-up. One, Public Works, which is really good. Campus, Rationalism, Industrialization. Uh, uh, yep, that's all good. Let's have a look at Leon. Oh, Leon's losing pop... Oh, and Damascus. All losing loyalty, as is Cairo. Oh, now that's exciting. Let's have a look at this. We're going to go to Indoctrination. Now this is where we get exciting. Unlocked in the Industrial Era unlocks the Cultist Unit. This unit is purchased with faith and uses charges to reduce loyalty in foreign cities and generate relics of the void. <laughs> oh, this is really, really good. So, basically, I can now recruit Cultists. They're not that expensive. 200 faith, that's okay. Um, and I basically can use the Cultist to lower cities' loyalty. And I'm going to just go and pinch things like Leon and Damascus. So I think we may be able to start the ball moving on the old domino effect here. 
its flight. Very good. Okay, uh, let's get steam power now and desperately see if we've got any cities that can have an aerodrome in them. I'm pretty sure the answer to that is going to be no, because we've got no flat land anywhere near us. So we're going to have to build them somewhere like Plymouth, uh, which is busy building the mausoleum of Herakia Carnassus at the moment, which is a very important one. Um, but then we can fly the aircraft over, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to have to use gold to buy the majority of them. Oh wow, that's a good deal. Turtles for a book, and then get the turtles back after 30 turns. That's, that's pretty good. Another good deal. Yeah, just with all this gold, people are just willing to give me stuff, which is wonderful. I mean, I should be able to get these books for pretty cheap as well. Yeah, lovely. So I've just bought about six great works in the space of a single turn. Everywhere is full now. Nice. Give me these cities. Recruit followers. <laughs> I think Damascus looks pretty nice. Should we go after there first? Yes, you can bring tanks to the front line all you want, Australia, but that'll be my city before you know it. We've got opera. Let's get colonialism as well. I'm just trying to figure out what are we going to spend our envoys on here. I could do with a couple more suzerains. Maybe Brussels and Mexico would be pretty good to get. I'm just trying to think, yeah, because then they would give me factories. Yeah. Let's do that. Just go bump bump. That's two more. Delightful. Got 14 diplomatic favour coming in per turn at the moment, which basically means that I can just sell it for as much as I want. 89 gold per turn. You see? These are good deals. I finally found this quadrarium. Sorry. You're dead now. It's a cultist. Recruit followers. <laughs> Minus 10 loyalty. I think I'll just have a couple more of these. This is going to go good. Two, two cities, Leon and Damascus. What I'm actually going to do is because we're about to start the dominoes, I'm actually going to go through the cities and just the ones that are really far away, nine tiles or more away from anybody else. I'm just going to do that thing where I go plus, plus, plus at the beginning because then it just reminds me when I look at the uh, great work screen, which cities are not benefiting effectively from what well, we're not giving me any benefit to the loyalty. Oh, quick diplomatic quarter. Let's do that. That'll give me an extra envoy, loads and loads of influence points as well. Because uh, we've got a lot of suzerains, so that'll be quite good. That's amazing new cities though. The new world is coming along nicely. Birmingham is a, is a nice little industrial zone. It's got itself a decent amount of production, 21 production, but we could get higher. We could get higher. Steam power. Oh yeah, you know what this means. It's time for Railway Simulator. Can I just buy consulates? Oh wow, look at that. Gold, science, culture, faith, all kinds of fun things. Extra influence points as well. The chancery, chancery wouldn't give me too much to be fair, but this building would. Mmm, I do like the idea of the consulate. I might just have to treat myself to one. Now it's time for Granada and Akkad. That should just give me two more suzerains. So I've got a bunch of them now, which is really good. 20 diplomatic favor per turn. Very nice. Finally, let's jump on radio. I want to see if we've got aluminium. Well, hey, Damascus has fallen. Nice. Right, um, keep the city. Yes, lovely. Full loyalty, which is absolutely hilarious. Let's get, uh, get Rena in. I'm actually going to put her in because I can use her to buy a theatre square in. Uh, 14 turns it would take to build this thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that's a brilliant idea, but look, Damascus does also have uh, a, a nice little slot for this, which is good. So we can just keep the, the pressure going. Cairo is the next one to be starting to fall, which I find just hilarious. So the cultists make your way down. Leon will go next turn. Uh, I think Medina? I think we should be able to start putting some pressure on Medina in a little bit, but for now, maybe the cultists just hang about. We'll, we'll keep you all in a little group and we'll just bomb anywhere that looks like it might fall. Do I wait for theatre? I mean, I could get six... No, you know, I'm just going to build it. Build it for now. There's no harm in it. Mausoleum of Halakarnassus. Hala Thank you, Sean Bean. <laughs> oh, God, I can never say that one. Right, Leon has also flipped. Tasty. This is really, really good. It doesn't have an old god obelisk. Well, now. That will have to change really quickly. Oh, Geelong. Geelong is now flipping. Oh... Oh my, well, in that case, uh, these cultists can just quickly do one of those. Oh, memoirs of a blind astronomer. Oh my god, that's brilliant. I love that. Okay, so that's a couple of bombs in that one. That should 
fall in two turns time. You cultists make your way over in this direction and we will be so lucky if Leon and Damascus are going to very nicely buy some more cultists for us. You just wait. These cultists are good but as soon as I get master plan in the atomic era that's amazing because then I can make the cultists do a lot more damage. Colossus. That's another trade route for me. Delightful. Granada. Okay, Paris is the best route for me. That's good. What great person have I got? Oh, a musician. Oh, musicians are good. Musicians are good because I can use my old god obelisks to handle them. Oh yes, wonderful. Okay, now the Leon, the temple at Leon, I don't believe relics uh, contribute to my uh, court of love. But, 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 but. I don't think they do. So I'm not going to take the risk because we've got enough options. So this, I'm going to flip out with a city that is fine. Oh no, actually it needs a temple. I thought the old, gobl uh, the old god obelisks could handle them. Hang on. Yeah, it can. It can. So what, what are you doing? Come on, put it in there. Good. Right, that's better. Okay, let's get Singapore. Nice. Good piece of visibility there. Oh look, Melbourne is all the way over here, building a diplomatic quarter. I think Australia have already given up on the mainland. They know what's about to happen. Cairo is now mine, which is exciting. Annoyingly, I get minus five for occupied original capitals. Now I would like to say that I had no choice in whether or not Cairo joined me, so I think that's a little bit unfair, but oh, the Great Bath. Oh, you could, oh, the, the abuse I've seen of the Great Bath in the last few um, weeks. It is amazing. There are some fantastic strategies out there. Let's get Medina as well. We can knock Arabia out of the game. We've got a couple of cultists ready to just pile on the pressure. Um, I think Geelong It's only got plus three. Brasilia has got not very much as well. Let's have a look. Oh, is Newcastle the better strategy? Newcastle probably would flip first, but Geelong has more population, so it would hurt more if it did flip. So the cultists are going to go after that one for now. Yes, luxuries for books. Keep giving me books. You don't understand what you're doing, but I will accept them every time. <laughs> Even Australia has no idea what they're doing. They'll give me the books that I'm using to dismantle their empire. <laughs> you're just contributing to your own downfall here. And by the way, as my faith is creeping up, don't forget that 20% of that is turned into culture, science, and gold. So at the moment I'm getting 20 of each, but because Australia has so much faith, this will get much, much better. We're going to go for the votes that won last time and see if we can get them through this time. Uh, we've got production reduction and industrial state doubling on the old trade routes. I don't know if that will go through. I don't know who's winning diplomatically. Industrial, gold. Ah, oh, I see that we're just failing diplomatically this game. We've got three points. It's not the end of the world. We could still win a diplomatic victory if we so chose to, but that's okay. Just picked up nationalism, which is another governor, which is really, really good. I think Scorched Earth, natural history, all of these things are pretty good. Build two field cannons. I feel like I've got a crossbow or two somewhere, but actually I don't know what a field cannon is, so that could be the issue. Hello, Geelong. You have Magnus in you, and you only have plus one. Tut, tut, tut. You're about to get culted. <laughs> Fungal spore. <Ugh. laughs> Where are these things coming from? It's disgusting. Right, how are we doing for aluminium? Oh, double aluminium down here. That is amazing. Okay, great. And then we've got one more here where I was about to build the um, aqueduct. Can I still build it? No. Damn it. Oh, that ruins my flipping industrial zone. That's really annoying. Oh, well, I guess it is aluminium so I'll take it but oh, if I have done the aqueduct a little earlier that would have been fine never mind yes that's right give me all your loyalty we've now got it down to 42 that's good we've got two charges one charge uh, one charge one charge it's five charges left oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this might need another couple of cultists I might have just miscalculated this one these relics they really do, they, they come good because it basically just gives me an absolute ton of faith basically just to buy more cultists. But you can see just with these ones, I've still got one more cultist left. This city's now got nine loyalty, but somehow now it's going up by 11 loyalty per turn. I don't know how that's, uh, I don't know how that's happened, but Damascus very soon 
is going to have its own theatre square, which is really cool. I and mean, then I can pile on the pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of these cities are going to be in range. Medena is about to flip as well. We've got cultists literally coming out of our ears. I'm happy. I'm happy with how things are going. And as well, as soon as Damascus and uh, Cairo are done, they're going to be building um, aeroplane or aerodromes. And then I'm going to get some planes and I'm going to start killing France because, quite frankly, yes, I do like the ability to flip things with the Court of Love, but I'm in an angry mood. So yes, I am going to combine this with a military domination game. You will see Eleanor of Aquitaine in absolute full flight, in just pure majesty. She's going to be glorious. And you can all come back just in time to see my capital, like, on fire. Oh. Yeah, that's, um, that's going to need more than a spot of paint, I think. Ouch. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton for all of the help you give on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes and subscribes to the video. Cheers, you help keep me going.